hush falls over the crowd. Good morning, Life Church. How are you? Can you believe it is? This is our Christmas Sunday. The next time we meet on a Sunday morning, Christmas will have come and gone. At least for this year, it'll come again. So that's good. But um, so we're excited this morning. We're, we're going to be have, doing something a little different. This is our Christmas service. I know a lot of you guys. Um, are going to be participating, so you know a little bit what's what's up. But for those who um, maybe don't know quite what to expect this morning, we're just going to be, be taking the morning uh, to, to really uh, listen, appreciate, and think all about the the Christmas story, about Christ uh, coming, about his um, his birth. And um, so we're going to be reading through that, and we're also just going to be singing some carols together. Right, so uh, who had? By the way, who had fun Friday night? That was pretty awesome. Yeah, that was that was super neat. So I know some of you may have been a, a little bit sad because we didn't like all like huddle together in a little crowd with our candles and you know sing carols. So this is your opportunity to do that. Uh, if you brought a candle, feel free to uh, you know stand there with it. Um, but yeah, so also, just so you know, it is going to be a lot of singing. Oh, there you go. Adam's ready to go. Adam's ready to go show off. Um, so, so it is going to be a lot of singing and a lot of reading. Praise God, right? So um, just so you're not awkwardly trying to figure out what to do, or you're going to be the only one, feel free to stand or sit whenever you feel the need to do so. But uh, certainly as we're reading, feel free uh, to take a seat and just really uh, ponder on that. So uh, with that said, good morning, Connie. Said there would be reading. <laughs> Every who down in Whoville liked Christmas a lot. It was a Christmas then he sent me an email and said, here's what you're reading. <laughs> okay, Matthew 118 through 24. <laughs> now the birth of Jesus Christ took place in this way. When his mother Mary had been betrothed to Joseph, Joseph before they came together, he was found to be the child from the Holy Spirit. And her husband Joseph, being a just man and unwilling to put her to shame, resolved to divorce her quietly. As he considered these things, behold, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream, saying, Joseph, son of David, do not fear to take Mary as your wife, for which is conceived in her from the Holy Spirit. She will bear a son and shall call him Jesus. For he will save the people from their sins, and all this took place to fill, fulfill what the Lord had spoken by the prophet. Behold, the virgin shall conceive and bear a son, and they shall call him Emmanuel, which means God with us. When Joseph woke from sleep, he did as the angel of the Lord commanded him. He took his wife. O oh, come, O oh, come, Emmanuel, and ransom captive Israel, who mourns in lonely exile here, until the sun
as dark shadows pours to fly. Rejoice, rejoice, Emmanuel shall come to thee, O Israel. Rejoice, rejoice, Emmanuel shall come to church let me have you all grab a seat for just a moment or two yeah. Boom. helps if it's turned on how about that so well happy christmas some of you are saying wait wait isn't it merry christmas no 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 with adam miller it is happy christmas and there's probably only one other human being on the face of the earth who knows the reason why i say happy christmas her name is renal miller and if you want to know why i say happy christmas you can go ask her <laughs> but anyways, I want to wish you all a happy Christmas. Welcome to Life Church's Christmas. We're going to do things a little bit different today. We're going to go back in and we're going to read the Christmas story. And our prayer is that you will hear it maybe again as if for the first time. If you are a guest here this morning, we want to welcome you, whether you are in person or online. If you are in person, the only thing we want you to put in the gift box today is this little connection card. And if you are joining us online, would you visit us at our website, www.lifechurchlou.org, and just put in the contact form. We'd really love to get to know you and, as they say, put a name with a face. So let's uh, move back into worship. I just love this time of year. Hebrews chapter 2, verse 14. Since therefore the children share in flesh and blood, he himself likewise partook of the same things, that through death he might destroy the one who has the power of death, that is the devil, and deliver those who through fear of death were subject to lifelong slavery. For surely it's not angels that he helps, but he helps the offspring of Abraham. And therefore he had to be made like his brothers in all respects so that he might become a merciful and faithful high priest in the service of God to make propitiation for the sins of the people. For because he himself suffered when tempted, he is able to help those who are being tempted. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Luke 1, 26 to 38. In the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent from God to a city of Galilee named Nazareth, to a virgin betrothed to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David. And the virgin's name was Mary. And he came to her and said, Greetings, O favored one, the Lord is with you. But she was greatly troubled at the saying and tried to discern what sort of greeting this might be. And the angel said to her, do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God, and behold, you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you will give him the name Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High, and the Lord God will give, him, give to him the throne of his father David, and he will reign over the house of Jacob forever. In his kingdom there will be no end. And Mary said to the angel, how will this be, since I am a virgin? And the angel answered her, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore the child to be born will be called Holy, the Son of God. And behold, your relative Elizabeth in her old age has also conceived a son, and this is the sixth month with her who is called barren, for nothing will be impossible with God. And Mary said, Behold, I am servant of the Lord, let it be to me according to your work. And the angel departed from her. Hark the herald angels sing, glory to the newborn king. 
Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. And why is this granted to me, that the mother of my Lord should come to me? For behold, when the sound of your greeting came to my ears, the baby in my womb leapt for joy. And blessed is she who believed that there would be a fulfillment of what was spoken to her from the Lord. Joy to the world, the Lord is come. Let earth receive her King. Let every heart prepare Him room. And heaven and nature sing. And heaven and nature sing. And heaven and heaven and nature sing. Joy to the earth, the Savior reigns. Let men their songs employ, while fields and floods, rocks, hills, and plains repeat the sounding joy, repeat the sounding joy, repeat. truth and grace and makes the nations prove the glories of his righteousness and wonders of his love and wonders 
wonders of his love and wonders, wonders of his love. Joy to the world, the Lord is come. Let earth receive her King. Let every heart prepare him room. And heaven and nature sing. And heaven and nature sing. And heaven and heaven and nature sing. Amen. So not only is this our last Sunday before we celebrate Christmas officially on the day, but uh, it's also our fourth week of Advent. We've gone through and each week um, kind of reflected on a particular aspect of, of what God has shown us through Christmas, his, uh, his hope, his peace, his joy. And this week we want to take a moment to reflect on his love. Luke 1, 46 through 55. And Mary said, My soul magnifies the Lord, and my spirit rejoices in God my Savior. For he has looked on the humble estate of his servant. For behold, from now on all gener generations will call me blessed. For he who is mighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. And his mercy is for those who fear him from generation to generation. He has shown strength with his arm. He has scattered the proud in the thoughts of their hearts. He has brought down the mighty from their thrones and exalted those of humble estate. He has filled the hungry with good things and the rich he has sent away empty. He has helped his servant Israel in remembrance of his mercy as he spoke to our fathers, to Abraham and to his offspring forever. Oh, holy night, the stars are brightly shining. Dear Savior's birth, long lay the world in sin and error pining, till he appeared and the soul felt its worth. A thrill of hope, the weary world rejoices, for yonder Oh, night, 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 oh, night
In those days, a decree went out from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be registered. This was the first registration when Quirinius, the governor of Syria, and all went to be registered, each to his own town. And Joseph also went up from Galilee, from the town of Nazareth to Judea, to the city of David, which is called Bethlehem, because he was of the house and lineage of David, to be registered with Mary, his betrothed, who was with child. And while they were, while they were there, the time came for her to give birth. And she gave birth to her firstborn son, and wrapped him in swaddling clothes, and laid him in a manger, because there was no place for them in the inn. Luke uh, 2, 1 through 7. Christmas is about fellowship, it's about Emmanuel, and the Lord's Supper is about fellowship. It's about fellowship with God, and it's about fellowship with each other. At Life Church, we practice what is called open communion, so as long as you 
have fellowship with God through Jesus Christ. You have put your faith in him. You are welcome to partake of the elements with us. This little baby boy would grow up like any Jewish boy, but unlike any Jewish boy, this is God in the flesh. Amen. This little boy would grow up and lay his life down as a sacrifice for us. Now as they were eating, Jesus took the bread and after blessing it, he broke it and he gave it to his disciples and he said, take and eat. This is my body. And so let us take and eat together in fellowship with God and each other. And he took a cup, and when he had given thanks, he gave it to them, saying, Drink of it, all of you, for this is my blood of the covenant, which is poured out for the many for the forgiveness of sins. And I tell you, I will not drink of it again until that day when I drink it anew with you in my Father's kingdom. Church, we look back, we look forward to the return of our Lord Jesus Christ. Maranatha, let's partake together. Luke 2, 8 through 20. In the same region, there were shepherds out in the field, keeping watch over the flock by night. And an angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them. And they were filled with great fear. And the angel said to them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good news of the great joy that will be for all the people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, who is Christ the Lord. And this will be a sign for you. You will find a baby wrapped in a swaddling cloth and laying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly hosts praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on the earth peace among those with whom he is pleased. When the angels went away from them into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let us go over to Bethlehem and see this thing that had happened, which the Lord has made known to us. And they went with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the baby lying in a manger. And when they saw it, they made known the saying that had been told them concerning the child. And all who heard it wondered what the shepherds told them. But Mary treasured all these things, pondering them in her heart. And the shepherds returned, glorifying, praising God for all they have heard and seen, and it had been told them. Praise the Lord. Amen. <laughs> All right, church, well, just like those shepherds went out and they couldn't help but share what they had seen, what they had been told, and what they had heard, let us do the same thing. And let's do it with excitement and enthusiasm. This is not just a season for us to, to huddle and enjoy it, but it's, it's a season for us to share it with the world. So I want you to have a little bit of fun with this one. Goodness knows we are. So if you would, stand up and sing with us. Go tell it on the mountain, over the hills and everywhere. Go tell it on the mountain, that Jesus Christ is born. While shepherds kept their watching, or silent flocks by night, behold throughout the heavens there shone a holy Go tell it on the mountain, over the hills and everywhere. Go tell it 
on the mountain that Jesus Christ is born. The shepherds feared and trembled when low above the earth rang out the angel chorus that hailed our Savior's birth. So go tell it on the mountain over the hills and everywhere go tell it on the mountain that Jesus Christ is born down in a lonely manger our humble Christ was born and brought us God's salvation that blessed Christmas morn. Go tell it on the mountain, over the hills and everywhere. Go tell it on the mountain that Jesus Christ is born. One more time, come on! So go tell it on the mountain, over the hills and Christ is born. One more time. <laughs> so go tell it on the mountain, over the hills and everywhere. Go tell it on the mountain that Jesus Christ is born. Amen. Well, on behalf of Renelle and I, we want to wish you all a very happy Christmas. And uh, hey, if you are able to join us later today, just by way of closing announcements, uh, we are a church that believes in showing and telling the gospel of Jesus Christ. So we want to be a church that talks about Jesus, but we also want to be a church that rolls up our sleeves to serve and do our community a lot of good. And so this afternoon, uh, we are going to be assembling at St. John's Center at 3 p.m. And so uh, that was in your email, so please check that. Uh, we will provide the cleaning supplies, the gloves, all the stuff that you need. You just need to show up and help us with the elbow grease. So let me read a word of benediction. I'm at the right place, right? We're yeah. landing this plane. Yeah, we're there. Yeah. We are there. Had a schedule, guys. Good job. Yeah. <laughs> good singing, church. Do not neglect to do good and to share what you have. For such sacrifices are pleasing to God. And now may the God of peace, who brought again from the dead our Lord Jesus, the great shepherd of the sheep, by the blood of the eternal covenant, equip you with every good that you may do his will, working in us that which is pleasing in his sight, through Jesus Christ, to whom be glory forever and ever, and amen. Hey, before you leave here today, give someone a knuckle bump or a hug if they're comfortable with it. Tell them Jesus changes everything. everything. Amen. One more time. Go tell it on the mountain, over the hills and Jesus Christ is born. Merry Christmas, church.